going on guys and welcome back to my channel so i want to show you uh, how to to do trusses analysis in sub 2000 i want this video to be very short so i'll be going very quickly so what you need to do just go to new and then you see right here it is 2d trusses just click 2d trusses and then you can uh, use custom grid spacing and locate ordinates this is what you want to go so you edit you come here okay now what you want, now i have my simple truss right here so this is what we are going to do so as you can see i have a uh, two meters uh going up and uh, four meters going this way but i have um, a joint in the middle so i should go two and then um, two and then two so here um, I have a lot of these which I don't need so I'll just keep the first one zero because that's the first ordinate the second one should be two and the third one should be four and uh, the rest I don't need so I'll delete this one I'll uh, delete that one that one and that one so uh, what this is what I need and uh, on the vertical I only um, on we have a uh, two so I'll put zero and then two and now we have what you need so we can just press ok and then ok and we will have our truss yes so i will just uh, turn this off and then again if uh, you don't have this uh, view let's say your thing is like this what you need to do you need to go x and z okay so it's like this so right now if i'm looking to my thing I I have uh, this um, this one, but uh, on my on my on my problem we have uh, members on everything. So what, uh, what, uh, what first of all I will check this material just to know. Okay, it is F sec. Just to know which is mater which material is uh, being used by default. Okay, so I will not delete this. I'll just I need material. I need a member here, a member here, a member here, and a member here, and a member here too. Yes. So first of all, what we need to do is define material. Go to material, and as always, I'll just modify this one. And what I need here, I will um, I will just put zero here. Why? I'm putting zero so that the program doesn't calculate the self weight of the material that I'm using. If I have a Young's modulus, I'll just put it here. But because I don't have, then uh, everything is fine. Just put the zero here, and then we are good to go. And then okay. And also, we need to define section properties. Okay. So this is the material that is being used here. And what we need to do, we'll just modify this. Okay. And uh, you see, this the it is using another material that we are, that's not ours. But we, we have modified for 4000 PSI, so I need to use this one, okay? I'll just keep okay, and then okay. I'll just uh, just go back one second just to check, to confirm that this is the one we modified. Yes, it is the one that we modified. Okay, so that that, that now that FSEC1 is the material that is being used, and we have already modified it to our specification. So we need to, to, to draw our materials, uh, to draw to our sections where there is no section. I will I can use this one if I want I, I can use this to draw frame uh, but I will uh, just use this one for now and then uh, yes yes you see you the most important thing is to check here if the material is the one that you need okay so here uh, to here and then uh, to here and then uh, here and then here okay also uh, I want to I want to, uh, here okay so right now we have uh, drawn our um, we have drawn our our problem as it's supposed to be okay so now if i see uh first first of all what we need to do let, let us assign um let us assign um uh, our support so this is um this is a roller and this is a pin so they have roller here and pin here so i'll just select um, this one and then assign and then joint and then restraint and then this is our roller so okay and then select this one and then uh, again assign and then restrain now we need to use pin on this one okay yes now we have pin okay so not right now what we need to do we need to um to apply our loads <coughs> excuse me okay so we need 25 um here okay let's do let's do this slowly 
the first one is 25 is right here so the most important thing let, let, before applying the loads what we need to do is to is to uh, what um because right now the software uh, doesn't know if we are dealing with trusses or we are dealing with frame and there's a difference between trusses and frame the difference is that uh, trusses does not carry moments you need to to know this in your heart that trusses does not carry moment they can only carry loads that's why you'll never see a fixed support on a truss because it doesn't carry moment so how do you do that First, we need to select the entire all the members of the trusses. And if let's say you have a mixed, uh, you have a uh, mixed members. For example, you have a trusses, but you also have uh, how do I say this? Uh, you have trusses, but you also have um, a frame members or beams. Then you you only select the trusses. Now, uh, while I was selecting, I've just noticed that this one is uh, there is no joint here, and I, I want I want a joint here. So what I'll do, I'll just go to edit, and then uh, I will uh, uh, divide frame. And uh, right here, it's two by one is what I want. I'll just go okay. So as you can see right now, I have a uh, two separate frames, and this is what I want. Okay, so now select this uh, entire um, let's select our entire uh, everything and then you need to go to a sign and then on frame you need to go to release or partial fixity this is what we need okay and what you need to do right here is you need to select to click this one this one we are removing all the moment we are releasing all the moment and you also need to to release the tension uh, on one side okay so this is what we need don't forget this process otherwise the software will assume that you're dealing with a frame instead of a truss if you click okay yes now we have released our 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 our, our, our thing is okay now right now we, we're in a good position to apply a load so we, we applied 25 loads here which is pointing uh downward okay so i'll just select this joint and then assign and then i will go to joint load and then um it is 25 and it is uh, in z so just go uh, and put minus 25 why because there's no area that we have selected uh if this is um a gravity load that's why i'm selecting minus 25 i want it to point down if i i've placed 25 it will be uh pulling this uh this uh, member okay so apply uh, okay my software is a little bit slow sometimes i don't know why okay right now we can apply here and it is 10 and we can do the same so select this one go to a sign go to point and it is 10 so 10 and then um, and then apply yes okay and we can put 15 which is going negative of uh, x so here it is 15 so put 0 here and on x minus 15 is what we need and if i do this you'll see it is pointing this way so it's 15 we need, we need to 20 uh, on this joint so i'll just select that one and uh, put zero here i'll go to global uh, z and then minus uh, 20 it was minus 20 if i'm not if i'm not wrong yes it is uh, 20 and then apply okay so now as you can see we have uh, apply applied our all our loads as we need so what we need to do right now is just to analyze and you will go to analyze set here options and select plane frame this will um this will uh, re reduce the computation uh work for the software okay and then now you need to run analysis and then uh, we don't need model so just select it and say do not run uh why well, i don't know why it's always doing this but i want the first one the dead to run okay and then run now and all, what all you need to do is to save this so i'll say example two let's say and then save right now the software will do all the 
uh, analysis. And, and uh, uh, just as a reminder that this software is using stiffness method in, in analysis of beams and trusses. Okay, and it is using finite element analysis for the entire um, for, for 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 the frames. Okay, so uh, uh, right now I have done uh, oh, oh, my things. Uh, as you can see, uh, I don't know why someone will do like this, but um, it is what it is. So uh, if you want to know displacement, we can go to the form shape. Uh, actually, uh, if I want to do displacement, just point the joint and uh, you'll see your displacement. You see, uh, these are the displacement. So, it is showing that U1 is X. So, U1 is X, U3 is uh, Z. So, it has displaced 0 0.008, that, those are millimeters. So, act, those are meters. So, actually, it displaced by 8 millimeter in X. Uh, and actually, it went uh, negative X, so it is going to the left. Why? Because there is a load here, load that is pushing this one to the left. That's why uh, this this is displaced uh, in X direction, in negative way. And then it point down because there is also a load here. Uh, and um, it is expected, to be honest. Okay, so if you want to know our reactions, what we need to do is just go to forces and then joints and then um, apply and we'll have our reaction. And these are our reactions. And the, the, there was a roller here, so only vertical uh, reaction. We have pin. We had pin here, so that means we had a, a vertical and horizontal reaction. And the most important thing in trusses is to know the internal forces. How do I know the internal forces? I will just go to frame cable here, and then forces, and it will show uh, keep show value, and then it will show our internal forces. Okay, so these are our internal forces, and uh, red always is uh, compression and the blue is tension and also red uh, will have a negative so this one will have a in internal um, internal uh, force of minus uh, 25 and uh, this will have a uh, of 20 uh, as like this you see or uh, you can see oh, so this has 15 because uh, no 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 <coughs> this has zero so this member doesn't carry any any um, any forces and it is expected because the, uh, it has nowhere to transfer the force around here because if we had reaction here let's say we had a, we had a support here pointing uh, this way then this would have a uh, carrying some ex um, in internal forces otherwise because there is nowhere to play to 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 send the force that's why it is uh, it doesn't carry any 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 internal forces so this is a, this is a surplus this this too this uh, doesn't have any 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 force and why because there is no where to put it if there was a support here or let's say another member at least even a, a vertical a, even an inclined member or we have another member from here to here then maybe it would have carried any load anyway this that is how you do thank you very much thank you for watching